Hello everyone, welcome back to the Midnight Paint and Body channel and part three of the Chevy 2 project. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to check out the uh, part three of the Chevy 2 project. So if you didn't watch the first couple of videos, I'm going to give you a really quick rundown. So what we have done thus far, um, we've rebuilt the frame rails, narrowed the frame rails, installed mini tubs. So these are the much wider wheel tubs. Um, obviously back panel, um, new quarter panels. There's just a shot of what we were working on last time. So the tubs are all in place. Everything is welded solid. Uh, the car is still completely square. Now you saw, if you watched the last video, this was what I was talking about. Just having to bring that trunk lid down a bit in the back when we welded it together. So that's all in place. So the next task at hand is going to be installing the trunk floor. Now, usually a pretty simple process, but of course we've added the wide wheel tubs, so the new trunk floor is going to have to be narrowed to fit. Yeah, yeah sorry about my voice, I'm uh, fighting a cold right now, so, you know, you're self-employed, you don't get to take days off, you just work through it just a little slower sometimes. To give you some reference, what we need to do here. Now, you can see that, you know, they fit the contour of the wheel tub. They look like they fit in place, but this actually needs to move in. Um, probably three inches, I think. So what we'll do... I'm just going to set the trunk pan in place to give us a reference of what we need to do with these side pieces. So just for reference now, you can see how narrow those pieces need to get up into there. There's not going to be much left of them. So basically what I want to do is get this trunk pan dead centered and then we'll measure what we need here. And then we're going to have to, where'd my other piece go, well, figure out exactly how much we're going to cut. So we're going to need to bring this edge way into here somewhere so basically like that so pretty straightforward but we just want to make sure we uh, measure once and cut twice or do like i do and cut and then weld back together then cut again not all the time it happens okay so here's our side piece of our floor pen so in absence of having a lot of fancy tools, as you might know from watching my channel and make do a lot of the time. Um, so I've just taken a scrap piece of metal and put a self-tapping screw through it. So I've determined we need an inch and five eighths of the floor pan at the narrowest point. But we want to keep this contour because that fits to the wheel tub. So I've made up this little piece. So the screw is just going to scribe a line there. And that way we're keeping that contour. So that's given us what we need here, but we don't want to cut anything off of this area. And we want to keep, again, keep that contour. So we're going to use some CAD design, which uh, if you're into the high-tech stuff like me, you'll know that's cardboard-assisted design. 
So I've cut that to fit that perfectly. So then we're just going to slide this over until we meet up with our line there. And finish scribing that line. So there we go. There is right where we want to cut. Just using some basic scraps around the shop. So I'm going to trim that back and we'll give her a test fit. So I've got my piece trimmed out. I haven't cleaned it up or anything yet. We're just going to do a test fit. Now, I always tend to cut on the big side of the line, leave a little extra metal. It's easier to shave it back a little bit and make it fit good than cutting too much. So, we need to lift this trunk floor back out. Well, actually, I think we can just slide it over. Much nailed it there. Oh, that's better. Hit the light off. So, as you can see here, I don't know how well you can see with all the black and bright shiny light, but uh, yeah, we're fitting quite nice around that wheel tub. And then, as you can see, the trunk floor, this, this has a lip on it, so the trunk floor goes on top of that. So it'll sit flush once it's all plug welded all the way along. We're fitting nice at the back panel. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. So I'm gonna just clean up that uh, cut a little bit, smooth it out. And then I'm going to grab the other piece do the same thing and then we've also got these trunk dropouts now these need to be put in place before these pieces these go so that way these go in the sides quarter panel will weld along the bottom and this slip here is going to weld along the top so i'm going to figure out uh, that other side and then we'll move on to fitting these dropouts. So that was relatively painless, so I've trimmed up the other side. Uh, try and get, get that so you guys can see it without all that glare on it. So that's all fitting good, I'm happy with that. So next thing I'm going to do is just pull these panels back out. We're going to put uh, these dropouts in place and see how they're going to fit. All right, so let the floor out. I'm going to see how this right side dropout fits. And something I was going to mention to you guys, if you're watching this because you're doing mini tubs or doing any of this kind of work, this all kind of applies to whatever vehicle you're working on. But if you happen to be working on a Mopar, um, I did mini tubs and a narrowed trunk floor in this car as well, a 70 Charger. And there's a whole series of videos on my channel on that one. So that might be more applicable to what you're working on, possibly. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of videos on that car if you're interested and there will be more in the future, I'm sure, when I get back to it. So these dropouts can be a little tricky. All right, so this is basically where she's going to live. Grab my light here. So 
So as you can see, so I'll be drilling holes in that flange there and plug welding through to here and kind of all the way around the perimeter of the bottom of the quarter panel. We'll just be drilling some holes in there and then clamping that together tight and then plug welding that drop out in place. I think maybe let's just set that trunk floor piece in there. Make sure we're still fitting with that. Right. And we'll also be drilling holes along the edge of this trunk floor and plug welding it to that dropout. So I'm going to do a little more fitting and just start drilling some holes and getting these ready to go in for good. So there's that side trunk dropout in place. So as you can see, I've just gone around and attached it with a bunch of self-tapping screws. So it's in there solid. It is right where it's going to live now. So now, I'm going to fit this floor piece one more time. right where we want it, which is right there. I'm gonna clamp that in place. Now we're gonna go back underneath the car. So, Bring that light down here. So we're going to be welding it all along these frame rails and along that support there. So just so we know where to drill holes, what I like to do with floor pans is make a scribe mark and then we're going to know that just to the inside of that scribe mark is where we're going to want to drill holes in our floor pan. So I'm gonna kind of mark around everything the best I can, then we'll take it out and drill some holes, and then we'll put it back in, kind of the same idea with a bunch of self-tappers to get it right where we want it. I've ground off all the surfaces we're gonna be welding to, put some weld through primer on them. So we're ready to throw this pan back in there Again. Right. Right there. So I'm going to set my trunk floor in again just to make sure everything is where I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to screw this down with a bunch of self tappers. And then we can move on to welding this side up. So there's our first trunk side section in place. So I've put it in with a bunch of self-tapping screws. It's just going to keep everything nice and tight to where we're welding. So we'll do the plug welds and just pull the screws out and then just weld up those small holes that are left. So, it's actually lunchtime. I'm going to take a break. When I come back, I'm going to start welding this side solid. And then we'll move on to the other side.
one side welded up. So nice and solid, all welded firmly to the frame rail. Everything is fit really nice. See, we're welded all the way along the bottom around the wheel lip and then up inside here too and then you can see uh, if you can see kind of how nice everything looks inside now with that you can see how well that dropout fits to the floor up there so I'm gonna move over to the other side and do all that over again and then when I come back We'll look at putting that uh, trunk section in. So I've got the left side of the trunk floor and the trunk drop off welded in. So we have all of this nice and solid now. So one of the next things, so we have these little filler braces that are gonna weld in right around there. I'm thinking these must have been maybe sort of like the factory jack storage and stuff. They've got little hooks on there. There's, there's hooks up there, so I'm thinking there was probably spring-loaded retainers for the spare tire and jack and stuff that attach to those. That's the purpose of them. And then we've got the trunk latch piece that's going to be welding in right there. But those can't go in until the shrunk floor is in. trunk floor and it just fits nicely in you see these are these have kind of a break in them so the trunk floor sits right down flush so get that lined up and once it's all pushed down it'll be nice and flush into there it goes underneath this part of the floor so I'll kind of straighten that edge up and we'll be just plug welding along there again drilling the entire trunk floor around the perimeter welding it down and then like I said these will all be after the trunk floor is welded in but I'm not gonna put that floor section in yet because uh, so the customer brought me on Friday it's actually already Tuesday again today so this is the so it's a narrowed curry nine inch and the whole TCI four link rear suspension for this car so this is all just here so I can paint all the components for them and I will be welding in any brackets that need to be welded. So I'm not going to be installing this suspension. The customer wants to do that himself, which I totally understand. So I haven't even looked in the big box yet, but there are brackets that need to be welded to the frame. So I'll be taking care of those and that's why I'm going to leave that trunk lid out or the trunk pan out, sorry. So, we've got all that. So I think what I'm gonna do, just so again, this video doesn't go on too long, I'm gonna stop this one here. Uh, we'll come back to it. I think maybe I'll kind of film, I'll show you guys when I'm putting the brackets and stuff in for the four link, just so you have an idea. Like I say, I'm not gonna be setting that up in the car but I may be kind of mocking up. Well, yeah, I might be mocking up some of it just so I know exactly where everything needs to be. So, so yeah, if that happens, I'll bring you guys along for it for sure. So as always, we're gonna just stop that one here for now. Um, let me know as always in the comments, guys, what you think, you know, what you think of this project. If there's anything more in depth you would like to see I, mean, I do my best to show you what i'm doing and like i tell you all the time i'm not the uh the top expert at this stuff i just uh you know take you along and hope i can help a few guys out with the projects 
And as always, too, if there's anything you want to see more in depth, I mean, anything at all auto body related, you know, filler work, primer, prep work, whatever it is, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll see if I can bring that to you. You know, I, I never know what, what I have coming in as for jobs. I mean, I'm just cleaning out right now because I've got another big GMC crew cab coming in tomorrow for rockers and cab corners. So I say I've done, I've done those videos before. Maybe I'll make another one. I don't know. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting and liking the videos. That means more than you realize. Um, the subscriptions are just, just steadily growing. So that's, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled about that. I, uh, I'm surprised how quick the channel has grown at this point. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you come back for the next one.